Assembling an Arossi chair is easy. We suggest that you assemble the chair on a protective surface and that you use the included one size gloves when assembling. This guide is divided into four parts, because we know life is complicated enough and that you might want to skip some steps, just like you skip commitments. Start with step number one, the wheelbase. Let's attach the wheels to the wheelbase itself. Flip the wheelbase upside down and push the wheels in one by one. The best way to do this is to grab them by the plastic base since that won't rotate when you push them in. Now flip the wheelbase over and insert the gas lift into the center hole. This plastic piece goes over the gas lift and sits here like a collar. The next step is to attach the backrest to the seat base. Let's start by removing the pre-attached screws from the backrest, two on each side. Note the extra hole on each side. These are for the plastic covers that we will attach later, so no screws in there. Take the backrest and align it with the seat. Screw the screws in, but make sure everything is aligned before tightening them. We want both you and your chair to have good posture. Step 3 is all about the seat mechanism that we will attach to the bottom of the seat. Now there are two different types of seat mechanisms. Here is one for the Toretta with its front marking over here. And here is one for the Bernasa with its front marking on the bottom side. Remember these markings when attaching the seat mechanism, but start with removing the pre-attached screws. When attaching the seat mechanism, it's important that it's facing the right direction, following the arrows shown previously. When the chair is laying on the floor like this, the arrow should point downwards. Attach the seat mechanism with the screws, preferably in a diagonal order. Don't tighten them until all of them are in place. Then we mount the chair to the wheelbase. The easiest way to do this is to grab the wheelbase and put it on the seat mechanism with the chair kept in the same position as previously. The last step is to attach the plastic covers and paddle control arms if your chair model has them. If you got the simpler seat mechanism, the control arm is already there by default. But if you got the other one, then this is how you attach them. The tilt paddle goes on the left of the chair and the height adjustment paddle goes on the right. Mixing these up will just make you confused later on. These just push in until they feel secure. Then we got the side covers. Notice the orientation. Start by attaching the lower part to the existing plastic piece. Then align the top part until you feel this pin aligning to this hole. And push in. If your chair model doesn't have the pillows pre-attached, then this is how you attach them, and it will also finish off this assembly guide. Strap the neck pillow around the top of the chair. The lumbar support pillow uses a strap with a clasp. Disconnect the clasp and reach through the backrest, connecting to the clasp on the inside. This allows the pillow to move freely, while not falling down on its own. That's it for the assembly. If you need further assistance, you can go to our website and contact us. You can also find more information about the features of your chair, assembly guides for other products and maintenance videos on our YouTube channel. Now enjoy your new gaming chair!